My original plan was to write a book about terrorism policy in the Bush administration, but in the course of my reporting, I came to realize that the real story, the time when all of the decisions, all of the policies were made, were in the first 500 days after 9-11. And the better way to deal with it was to dig deep into those 500 days and to give readers the ability to see uh, not only how policies evolved within the Bush administration, but also how they evolved uh, in governments worldwide. What I try to do in my books is to write something that reads like a novel, but is all true. And that allows for readers to get uh, caught up in the story, to really begin to understand the nature of the characters in the story. I've often said that journalists and authors are in the entertainment business. And by that, what I mean is our job is to write something that a reader will want to read. And the fact that it conveys important information is the benefit. One of the things that was most surprising to me during the years of reporting on this book is the number of elements of the story that were advanced by governments around the world that ended up not being true. A supposed Al-Qaeda manual that had been used to justify policies at Guantanamo, indefinite detention, uh, and so on, was in fact not an Al-Qaeda manual. It's absurd. I mean, there are, there are so many problems with it being an Al-Qaeda manual. It's very clear that it isn't. It sort of goes to the nature of what we were dealing with in this era, where uh, we as a nation uh, were looking at all terrorism, we're looking at all events in history, we're looking at you know, every Muslim who'd ever been in Afghanistan and collapsing them all together and saying, all of this is Al-Qaeda. And that didn't serve to help us that actually proved to be a distraction. Most people have been invested in a storyline. That being the Bush administration was evil, or on the other side, that the lawyers representing terrorists were fighting against America. And really, none of this was true. And um, you had a lot of people who were struggling to figure out where the right line was. What was the way to deal with things? I really don't care what the answer is. I really don't care how these events are interpreted. What I care about is to be able to show readers what happened, when, and how. And at the end of that, readers will have as much information as I do, and they will be able to make their own decisions on what they believe.